Alright people, welcome to the final deck profile of the changes. So now, all four decks that are being removed from Vinyl Wine and Daily Dose respectively have gotten their deck profile. And uh, coming up next week on Monday, we will interact, uh, you know, the changes will engage and we can uh, move on without these decks. But, uh, you know, the channel will be a little bit crisper and cleaner, less stress on me, but you guys will still get your content. So, of course, I opted to uh, cut down the tag dates from, you know, six tag videos a week down to just two tag days and you know the tag partners will switch out individually kind of like how uh the undo commentary works and uh i was like oh i'm gonna cut down the tag days down to two tag decks and i was like well what two decks let's go with the newer ones let's go with trains who've been working totally fine and you know i'm, I'm fine with that deck it's you know it's a little bit stronger for the tag partner and of course ua is a newer deck i'm not gonna go ahead and pick them out so i was like you know what Horlicks been here for a while for for love for for life i know but it's just their time. It's just it's their time. I don't know. <laughs> so I uh, opted to go ahead and take this deck out. It was getting a little bit uh, uh, dry, I must say. And you know, I think that uh, Slate and you know, and Omega Castle will enjoy tagging with decks a little bit stronger. I know Omega Castle is kind of reluctant with it because he really likes his deck. But uh, I was just like, you know what? I think you would kind of like to do it with uh, UAs and trains who have a little bit more control, uh, you know, despite not running back row. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the deck profile of this deck. Am I saying this is the best uh, Heraldic deck? Definitely not. If you want to see a good Heraldic deck, I'll have a link to um, the guest upload that Omega Chaos did on my channel where he does a deck profile of Heraldics. And uh, yeah, check that out. So, anyway, of course, Triple Leo. Why wouldn't you run Triple Leo? Triple Leo fits Bina. Uh, I don't generally use its special summon effect, and I really don't use its, uh, you know, increased 800 attack effect. But, you know, it's still gay. It's, it's the one of the go-to monsters because that pitch wrestle summon may help you get into another uh, XC that you may be desperate to do. Uh, triple Unicorn. Unicorn is the best. I love Unicorn just because it brings back uh, Plain Code or what's his name? Uh, Patriarch. So, yeah. Love me some Unicorn. Uh, Emperor Kamui. Uh, I was going back and forth this card first. I liked this first. I didn't. Or as I liked it, then I didn't. But I decided to go ahead and run it just because it's another Heraldic Beast Monster. And, you know, even if it's in the graveyard, you know, it can't hurt. And, of course, it's a wind. And this is a wind. So it gives me access to this card, which is, you know, the power when you get it off. So, you know, I totally don't mind running this card. And, hey, if I get off its effect, then, hey, plusage, right? So, there we go. Uh, then, of course, Triple Goldfish, Triple Goblin Bird, Triple Kage. They all do the same thing. I want that different summon. I want to exceed. Definitely indefinitely i want to exceed that's what i want to do so i want to go ahead and get it done of course you could run like the power guy but you know you can be special summon your you know your point control monster and you don't i'm tag partner i go second so generally it's going to be something so that's why i go with three these three cards and they all pretty much do the same job which is you know giving me that exceed plays give me an access to the cast out the one ones and of course my uh, patriarch who i really enjoy using it's not the best tag card because of course they kill it during my opponent's uh, turn that I don't get the effect, but uh, you know, it's not bad, not bad, not a bad see at all. So, uh, I know blasphemy 21 monsters, <gasps> but yeah, there you go. Uh, and moving on to spells, uh, triple heraldry reborn, it's monster bone for politics. What can you say? It's good, um, of course, triple advanced heraldry art. Uh, this card's really good. Go ahead and target two hard beasts and then immediately exceed them. So, it's like heraldry. Are born, so you know, depending on what you got, even better because you know, I can go ahead and just be like, All right, well, I'll target you and you, and then bam, summon you. So it's really good. I really enjoy this card, you know, with the high heraldics and you know, with uh, you know, patriarchy sending all my you know, sending two heraldic monsters to the graveyard when it sends to the graveyard. Not bad, not bad. So, um, I run triple rank up, uh, limited variance for because I can go ahead and target a rank four I control and rank it up. So I can go ahead and rank up into my giant hand or my uh. C101. I wanted to go ahead and do that whole Utopia uh, Hope Zero, whatever his name is, but you know, for some reason, Death Pro didn't work with it, so I opted to take him out because it wasn't working. But uh, these are my cards that I like to generally rank up to, so I like to do this play. I think ranking up gives the deck more strength. I wish it could run a different rank up card, but eh, you know, I like this one the best. It works best with this. Uh, of course, uh, Regeki, good. Soul Charge, hella good. Uh, Trojo Rota. I know it's kind of cloggy because you don't remember Warriors, but I'd rather have them than not have them. Uh, I was running Summer Monk, but I decided to opt out to take them out because there was really not a lot of spells I wanted to pitch, and I was consistent enough when it came to additional summoning. So, uh, I really like the Rota. You could probably take it out, 
and learn something else, but I like to run a short goblin bird because I really want my goblin birds. I'd rather have them than not, right? And then I only run two MSTs. I had to cut it down. I had to make some cuts, and I was like, you know what? MST, you're going to have to go down to two. So I know I only run two MSTs in the tag deck. <gasps> Blast me. And then, of course, triple roll the creep. Uh, extra deck, I run Utopia because I was running the Utopia Hope thing because I wouldn't do that play, but I threw in Lightning. Uh, this extra deck, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I run anything. It really doesn't matter. So, yeah, Lightning, he's the tower. Uh, two Plane Cope, really all I need. Uh, two one one just one for just regular one one in one case I actually want to do the whole C one one thing, but you know, I think multiple one one has extra deck room and a deck that spams force, why not? Two castells, like I said, kind of cut it down to two, it's just fine. Um, Dr. Bellingham, the power. Cowboy Link Games, Exiton. Uh, I could, probably could run more extra time, that's kind of bad, but you know, why not run two if I have room? Uh, on each story, I can pull up the play, it doesn't pull off often, but when I do, it's a good dweller. Just in case we go up against, you know, some Saki decks that want Grave Hour Alliance, like, you know, like, you know, Stardust Assault Mode, or I'm Summon Dweller, you know, it's Regeki, and then you go in the gate, and I'm just like, alright, Bist Dweller, catch, you know, you're not coming back, so, there you go. Um, uh, the rank up, of course, and then, uh, Red Giant Hand, because uh, I can rank up into this, and then, you know, uh, once per turn during E-Post turn, when a card effect is activated in the field, attack the same material if you use it in the gate, that affects with all other effect cards currently on the field center of face, so I can just go ahead and summon Giant Hand, and they'll act, play something, and I'll be like, oh, the gate, you know. The only thing that sucks is that it's mandatory, and it negates all things on the field, so, you know, I would negate my real decrees, and then they could start playing trash for that turn, so, yeah, that's, it has its negative sides, its positives, but overall, it's, you know, it's a fine card, and I enjoyed it, playing it when I did. So anyway, there is the deck profile for Hold Raldix. So I said that's all four decks. Taking off a daily duels and vibes and respectively. Um, take the weekend off and then come back on Monday. Uh, you know, nice and refreshed. Um, you know, I already did my final. I'm done with my education class and I am totally ready to uh, bring you guys the content for the rest of the summer. You know, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Uh, Frolix, you will be next. Uh, thank you for all the great tag duels, you know, with uh, with Slate and Omega Chaos, and yeah. So be sure to check out Omega Chaos's uh, deck profile of Frolix in real life, uh, you know, correct version of the deck, uh, down in the description, and yeah. Alright people, thanks for watching.